Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know me, my name is Gemma and I am a university student studying at RMIT University in Melbourne, Australia. And I'm studying environmental engineering and environmental science and I am in my third year. The semester has ended, so I thought I might make one of these sit down talking videos. You're probably clicking on this video because you are either a uni student or you are starting university soon. And you would like to know what are some things that will get you through uni look I'm not the smartest student out there and this video is not telling you that one of the only ways to get through uni is to drink more caffeine or pull all-nighters no this video will tell you things that are currently getting me through university <laughs> number one being more organized and on top of your things. I understand life gets in the way, work, school, other hobbies, coming back from the club at 2 a.m. in the morning. One of the things that have gotten me through uni is being more organized and it can be as simple as using a calendar or diary, whether it be a paper one or an online one. This is my diary. So I use a paper diary because I like the feel of it and I like when I can like cross things off. During the semester, I would write almost everything in here, whether it be work, an appointment, school, what I need to finish, being organized and on top of everything, very helpful. I have to admit my memory really sucks so by writing things down it just helps me a lot more. Point number two, having a balanced life. Yes, uni can be stressful. Yes, life gets in the way. Yes, professors are annoying. Yes, that assignment is due at 12 a.m. tonight. Yes, you are running on three hours of sleep. But life is a balance and you need to listen to your body when it tells you things like getting more sleep or needing to exercise. So just finding the right balance in life just really helps. For me, I work, I go to the gym, I go to uni and I make YouTube videos videos and just having a balance where I have enough time to catch up with friends, enough time for school, enough time to work and enough time to make my YouTube videos. That's one of the things that is currently getting me through university. Number three, having a good network of people around you. If it wasn't for them, I would not be able to cope whether it be family, friends, or work colleagues. Like honestly, if it wasn't for the people I'm studying with at uni, I would not survive, literally. For example, at least get yourself a study buddy. One of my study buddies, so I call them the right half brain and I'm known as the left half brain. And together we make a a full brain yeah crazy right pretty much do a majority of our assignments together if we have the same class or we also help each other in homework just having a really good friend to do your homework with and also to kind of pick at each other's mind is really helpful you know work smarter not harder surround yourself with good people at work or even join a club and going to work it just feels like i'm hanging out with my friends also joining a club Find like-minded people like you who also express the same interest. They might not be from the same degree, but they can also relate of being a university student. So that's a bonus. I'm definitely not sitting on the toilet. Whoops, my bad. Didn't realize that this section was not focused at all, but you made it this far into the videos. So if you are a struggling uni student, give this video a like. So point number five, having a drive or passion. It's about drive, it's about power. This sounds so motivational speechy, but like personally for me, sometimes I have my ups and downs in my degree. Like a turn off in my degree is that mine is five years because it's a double degree. By the end of that degree, I'll be coming out with two bachelors, which is okay. Okay, this is how I think of it. Engineering is a four year degree. If I just study for one more, I get two degrees. So that is why I'm doing my degree. Number six, last but not least, is waking up early. Like there are some people that wake up at 5 a.m. and there are some people that wake up at 11 a.m. Personal choice. For me, I go to bed around about 10 p.m. and I wake up around about 6 to 6.30 a.m. which gives me a full eight hours of sleep most of the time. Like call me a grandma or whatever but I feel like that's what works best for my body and I am able to manage most things because I feel like waking up early in the day I can get more things done and the days I don't wake up early I would say oh I could have done this 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 and this and I end up regretting it so waking up early most of the days is one of the things that are getting me through university and I hope to keep that as long as possible but 
there you have it folks top things that are currently getting me through university like i know everyone is different probably more to the list but these are the current things i can think of and who knows this list might change later in a few years but these are the top things that are getting me through university yeah that's the end of the video so i hope you enjoyed watching this video it was a little bit of a different video compared to what i have on my channels and i know i said i was going to do a sit down video but i didn't really sit down <laughs> So yeah, but if you enjoyed it, thumbs up. And if you're new, subscribe because there'll be a lot more happening on this channel. You'll just have to wait and see. See you next time. Clicking on this video because you are clicking on this <laughs> uh. When there's no balance, there's no, you. when there's no balance, you have to restore it. And to restore it, you have to make balance. What the fuck? So, Bring that down for me. You know that when the music stops, I'm gonna sit